Hello everybody, I am so excited. I'm here with Michael David. Uh, him and his wife support Messianic Jews. They're doing incredible things around the world related to the restoration of the harp. Now, you're gonna play something for us right now that's really unique because it's actually the notes that are found in scripture. He's got the harp right here. They're actually the notes that are found in scripture. And this is what it would have sound, sounded like back then. They would have been playing harps and it would have sounded like That's this. correct. And in the, in the uh, Tanakh, in, in, from, from Genesis all the way to Malachi, there are Hebrew characters that are the vowel, that, that are, sorry, the consonants. And that's how Hebrew oh, works. Okay. And there are little dots that indicate the vowels, which, so you know what the vowel sound you should be saying. But then in addition to that, and when my wife was in Hebrew school, uh, she saw these little extra markings. They weren't the vowel pointings. And she came to her teacher and she said, what are these marks? What, how are you supposed to interpret those? And they're <laughs> called cantillation pointing or trope. And these markings have been there all along in plain sight. <laughs> and uh, the, uh, ra the rabbis who sing, who are called cantors, mm -hmm. they um, uh, specifically say, well, these are more like pun punctuation marks. But awful lot of punctuation marks to try to explain. Yeah, it, doesn't some, make sense. it doesn't make sense. And wow. so there was a musicologist named Suzanne Hayek Ventura who made it her life's work to study this out and say, no, these are, could perhaps be real notes. Wow. And she discovered what the scale was, and it sounds like this. Doesn't that sound Hebraic? It sounds pretty Hebrew to me. It is, and on, on all that Hebraic sound, it sort of comes from that Middle Eastern uh, tonal scales. Wow. And so this is very sound scholarly work that she did. And so now it's possible for us to look back. It's like kind of like archaeology, but only yeah. for music. For music, okay, yeah. let's go Forensic, you know, going back and, and hearing the real tones that were there because it's in there. Now, there are other people who are doing some strange things, playing harp and playing notes that this is not that. This is the real the playing of the sound of the original scale and what King David and, uh, and even Moses, Moses knew music. And, um, so they would know this tune. So they would know this tune. If we took Amazing. a time machine and went back there, this is what it would sound okay, like. Okay, take us back there, Michael. important scripture in the whole Bible. This is, wow. says, says Yeshua Jesus, that you should love the Lord your God with all your heart and all your soul. So I'm going to start with the actual Shema, Shema Yisrael, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad, the Lord is one. And then I'm going to add in a little bit at the end, which is a, sort of my take it on it. Translation works with it as well. Hear, O Israel, the Lord your God, the Lord is one. Shema Israel, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai. shall love the Lord your God with all your soul. You shall love the Lord your God with all your strength. You shall love the Lord your God with all your mind. With all your heart. With all your soul. Michael, you are a history maker. We're so proud.
proud of what you're doing around the world, and we look forward to having a harp school in one of the countries we've been to or are going to. Get ready. You're seeing the restoration of the harp in these last days. Thank you so much, Michael, for joining in this beautiful atmosphere. Indeed.